right, so uh, a quick inter introduction. It was uh, last year, GameCon, and I was looking around for uh, different people, different voices uh, than, than our community, the Sententia uh, community, and I was wanting to say, well, I'll put it this way. For a lot of thought, the, the, a lot of the thought uh, inside of gamification really centered in, in Europe, a lot of the early adopters and the, the conferences and, and so on. So there's this long tradition in Europe. So when we're looking for speakers, I say, wouldn't it be cool to have someone that's that's out there on the edge, the cutting edge? And that's how just me just researching folks in, in our space who are talking about uh, technology, uh, like I said, uh, what's coming, what's on the edge. And so I really just, well, stumbled on anytime you do a social media search, <laughs> you end up finding people. So it's not what else would it be? So I found Alina and her work. And then uh, her presentation last year just, uh, just really had me thinking a lot um, and, and opened up a lot of things to me. So uh, just really quickly, Alina's uh, did the blockchain coaching and gamification with global thought leaders. A lot of, she's gotten a lot of recognition in that space. So she's named the top 100 thought leader in blockchain and top 50 thought leader on metaverse by Thinkers360. And so you think, oh yeah, she just did that once. No, that was 2023, 2022, 2021. <laughs> so she's been, uh, really uh, lots of folks to have uh, recognized uh, her, her contribution to uh, to the to this area and to what she'll be sharing with us and so it's a great great to have you here and uh, i'm looking forward to as i wrap up my last uh, my 11th uh, coming into the 12th hour i'm really happy that i get to spend it with your presentation <laughs> thanks Alina. I'm happy to be here again, Jonathan. Uh, and I hope you can see the presentation. Video. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So um, I'll try to be sharp and fast, like last time, maybe. And this time, the internet connection is working properly. Good. Uh, yeah. So if anyone has its mic open, I'll just um, um, please if you can shut it off. So because it's a very loud. And um, yeah, I'll try to go to through this video with you. I have interviewed a few guys, a few companies in the blockchain for this conference. And uh, I realized I didn't have enough uh, time to talk about the, everything I talked to them about uh, uh, for the gamified skills they have included. So after this uh, session, if anyone wants to jump on a table and uh, ask some questions, I'll be there if they're interested. So for now, I'm just going to open this video and... Um, try to stop it from time to time so we can discuss the topics or I just go ahead. So hi and welcome to this session about innovation in adult education through blockchain technology. And as we're here today at this amazing gamification conference, I invite you to have a look at the fusion of Web 3.0 technology and gamify platforms that are currently redefining how adults engage with learning experiences. I see this event as an open door for the boundless possibilities that can easily emerge when education meets gamification in the digital uh, era of Web 3.0. And please allow me to show you how several blockchain-based platforms have emerged to offer innovative approaches to adult education while they're leveraging the Web 3.0 technologies. These platforms often focus on decentralized learning. They offer tokens, uh, incentivized uh, learning, and peer-to-peer -peer inter interaction to enhance the learning experience. And I want to tell you about a few of them that directly focus on learn to earn. And maybe you already know about some of them, like Bit Degree, 
Bitdegree is a blockchain-based platform that offers online courses and educational programs, uh, including those that um, gear towards adult learners. It utilizes blockchain technology to verify achievements, which is amazing because they function with smart contracts for that. And they're incentivizing course completion through token. I've done that for my students on Udemy back in 2016. <laughs> Maybe I would have had even more engagement, um, even more reviews, even more feedback. And anyway, learn experience it's also uh, designed to include for inclusion and peer-to-peer -peer interaction then you have library which uh, about two three years ago was one of my favorite um, blockchain platforms where adult learners can discover and access a wide range of educational uh, materials assets how we call them in the blockchain and at the same time, like users with tokens and other rewards based on their progress, uh, engagement and achievements. Some web 3.0 uh, platform integrate token uh, incentives directly in the learning process, allowing adult learners to earn tokens for completing educational tasks, like I told you, and also participating in the pools, quizzes, or contributing simply contributed to the platform ecosystem um, in educational terms, um, uploading materials, uploading what eventually will become uh, non fungible tokens, educational materials, or downloading them or transacting them. Anyway, um, I'm going to show you a bit um, of what bit degree already has so you can have a look at what bit degree already has maybe some of you already know that um, that uh, yukai cho had a big influence on it and that's a bit about library that i just told you about and uh, you can go ahead and check library it's still working of course it's not a lot of fuzz around it as it was two three years ago because um, times are shifting very fast in Web 3.0 educational uh, products uh, as well. But yeah, uh, you can have a look at library. Uh, going ahead, I'm just going to let this work for you. Uh, what you see right here is called Layer 3. And this platform is... It, directly focused on empowering contribution in web 3.0 uh, it's it's seeking to contribute to the web 3.0 ecosystem worldwide while at the same time is rewarding users for their contribution so how does it work you have DAOs, which are decentralized autonomous organizations so i just stopped the video so you can have a bit of uh, look at it for a bit I was saying you can have DAOs and communities post tasks in the form of bounties, contests, projects on this layer three, even projects, yeah. Users immerse themselves in these communities, completing tasks that earn them cryptocurrencies uh, rewards. And this model is not only designed to incentivize participation, but also to foster continuous learning um, and skill development within the web 3.0 space then i want to tell you a bit about polygon and i was just invited in an accelerator for learning at polygon uh, about a week ago so that they're they're very emergent in the web 3.0 educational space um, now they have this polygon fellowship which is nurturing, really is nurturing the Web 3.0 um, development. And the Polygon Fellowship offers um, an eight-week mentor program in a Web 3.0 development, designed to empower participants for meaningful work in the field. With two mentoring tracks, catering the beginners and experienced individuals, the fellowship provides a structured learning environment 
where participants earn stipends upon program completion. So you, if you can see it, what you see right now in the video um, has been posted just a few days ago, I think three days ago. Well, by blending mentorship with hands-on experience, Polygon Fellowship gamifies the learning experience, the learning process, ensuring participants acquire practical skills while advancing their careers in Web 3.0. This is what they do, and they have a, a, a great program. Now, what you see right here in the in the video is the Binance, uh, a, few, a few ideas about Binance Learn to Earn. Now, I'm receiving daily, almost daily notification on my phone because I'm on Binance to go and learn about the specific coin, do a micro course on that. And after that, you and me and everyone we know can get some free tokens because we finished that and those tokens we have will would have the initial values of eco the the launch their launch but in time can value a lot so just for for uh learning you can overcome volatility you get some tokens and um in maybe one week one month one year or four years at the happening you that amount can value a lot just because you took some maybe 30 minutes of so to learn about their uh, protocol about their blockchain or so on so binance learn to earn uh, learn to earn uh just gives you instant tokens after their program is finished after you finish the course after they launch their tokens um and that's another blockchain education with rewards uh the program bridges the gap between blockchain knowledge and cryptocurrency rewards users can enrich their understanding on blockchain technology through interactive courses quizzes and they win crypto rewards upon completion the gamified approach encourages continuous learning as users unlock new courses and accumulate rewards enhancing their um their proficiency in the blockchain uh concepts and applications yeah so you see here something about pime and not many people know about pime but pime is an example of transformative learning with rewards um it goes around this concept of learn earn and become so become because i was we were just talking earlier before this session about identity in the deals pyramid of neurological levels of change well becoming it's something that goes top for us the individual very top on top of our mission yeah so these internships based on tasks uh, that are incentivized help people to earn rewards you know uh, they can help freelancers uh, entrepreneurs cryptopreneurs startups for their projects and uh, even well-established companies because this journey is gamified but it's also a supportive journey that's why the individuals or the company representatives in the blockchain sometimes are, are very happy to engage with this sort of gamified educational tools for them because it's not just education it even offers them something in uh, return uh, um, on a practical ba basis now many of you might have heard about um coin market cup CoinMarketCap is an older, uh, much older example of learning through engagement. You you can adjust uh, your interest anytime uh, on whatever you want on their page, and you can have a look um, because I'm for the moment I'm just using their diamonds. You know, I'm using their diamond feature and buy some NFTs. You know to maybe go to some global events that might be local, might be in real life, or might be online. Um, or those diamonds can be used to engage in new projects or buy some tokens and so on, you know, even if they're not getting you an NFT as a ticket to an educational event. So, yeah, so in conclusion, yeah, these platforms, exemplify the fusion of education and gamification creating immersive learning environments where adults can acquire new skills advance their careers and earn rewards in the rapidly evolving landscape 
so by con by harnessing the power of gamification these platforms inspire continuous learning and foster community participation driving innovation and empowerment in a, the web 3.0 ecosystem now i believe adult education can be achieved in blockchain environments that form specific behaviors through user engagement in different activities like the ones we can find in metaverses that reward their users instead of just waiting for the users to adopt their token and buy their nfts so there are metaverses that really reward you just to take the the journey learn develop skills and you will be rewarded at each step and i took a few months to test some of these and even had some interviews with the guys that developed them for this conference i was especially intrigued and interested by the geolocation ones that fit the idea of cosmolocalism around the world so i want to show you how a blockchain and a holochain metaverse work for adult education through gamification what you're seeing right here is a um, is part of a metaverse called my land metaverse my land metaverse and let's explore the my land gamified educational experience it's very easy they're integrating a uh, unity gaming engine with 3d earth map platform they even use uh, an ai for that so while they're using captivating environments to encourage exploration and discovery they're also incorporating cell optimized geocoded locations to enhance educational content delivery well i took some time maybe two months to play their hunt to earn feature and go into their reward program that one it integrates uh, earth knowledge and history into gameplay to educate players reward players with tokens for completing completing tasks and mm, it motivates active participation and learning now yeah we have a circular economy and the, that circular economy and feedback in there are a result of also what the users are doing the user created 3d spaces and content creation and that is empowering players to express creativity and ownership through the, those created digital uh, spaces. Uh, it rewards players with recognition and virtual assets for contributing to the platform's uh, enrichment. Also, if we take a look at their community engagement and governance for education and uh, with gamified tools, we can see that they're fostering collaboration and knowledge through sharing um gamified elements in the community and engagement in initiatives you see here they always have some coins they have some rewards they can reward you with some tools like flying planes car and so on just for you to move faster and in terms of gas of energy for you moving faster it means achieving faster whatever you wish maybe you want to achieve more tokens and swap them in matic because this is how you can uh, swap them on their platform the matic token and then go directly liquid on binance or wherever and get it out from there anyway that's just for the play to earn feature um we're not going to the, our world we're still talking about my land metaverse and i still want to tell you that uh this design accommodates different interests for the player and their skills levels to because they use different user demographics um yeah and you have recognition you have leaderboards badges vir virtual awards i won uh two times in december and in november and they just gave, get gave me two nft lands that value a lot because i i won their monthly contest um yeah uh, and i i could choose it whatever i could uh, i i wanted on the on the earth but especially they are giving away free land nft in territories around the world where where governments have given free land for free as well so that that's great um yeah so you have you also can meet a gamified trust uh, element and recognition 
because they're reinforcing positive behaviors and they're fostering a supporting gaming environment. Um, I just love my avatar in here and the fact that I won their monthly challenge two times now gain, and gain some land for free here. It's amazing. Look it up and you might like it. And if you want, we can talk more about it because the guys had given me a great interview for this conference, but I don't have time to go into all the details right now. <laughs> yeah. And our world of game, well, our world of game is the first metaverse in the holochain. And I don't know if you know uh, a lot about holochain. It's the next decentralized step after the blockchain. And uh, they're developing a lot, for, especially in the, in the last uh, five years. They did a lot and uh, it will surface. When we have our world of game and I took some time to to talk to them as well and let's just start exploring the educational uh, system that they have through gamification in their in their ar world because now they're calling it ar world rather than our world but it's still the same well yeah as i told you this project fusions with uh, holochain technology but also gamification and it combines cutting edge Holochain technology with captivating gamification strategies to create an immersive experience. The hyperlocal nature of their world, coupled with its scalable infrastructure, transforms the world into a single playable experience in the beginning, further reaching a community uh, involvement. Let's see how this platform helps transformative learning and growth for the end user. The in-game economy karma incentivized, um, incentivizes positive actions and learning by linking them to character progression. It's not, it's not something new for us. Well, karma rewards players for real-world activities such as volunteering, promoting healthy lifestyles, and supporting local businesses. Geospatial NFTs introduce players to Web 3.0 concepts fostering a deeper understanding of blockchain technology and digital ownership. I had my optics on the holochain driven gamification design and interviewed these guys in our world of game about it and especially for this conference. So here's what I got related to this. Karma earned in game can also be acquired through activities outside the game promoting holistic learning experiences. Let's just say uh, two, three days ago, the guys from Holochain tested bicycle static, like we call them, suede um, bikes that you can just stay, you know, and run in the same place. Uh, they tested it for energy, for people, not, not just for move to earn this blockchain feature, but also for a healthy lifestyle and for supporting the energy in the blockchain that you can generate in that moment so it's it's really mind-blowing and when i say these are holistic learning experiences they are also healthy experiences and yeah karma can be gained like this individually but it can be gained uh, through actions that are collective efforts as well but I was more interested in trust, uh, credentials, and recognition. And I can say that positive and negative experiences, both of them in this uh, ecosystem, influence access to certain in-game features. And you can either gain them or don't have access to them at all uh, at some point. Well, anyway, in time, this is promoting a culture of trust because not everything is so open, not everything is so free. It promotes a culture of trust and accountability for what you're doing and for what others are doing in the ecosystem and outside of it because it relates to off-chain behaviors of the players also, not just on-chain. Well, yeah, the game emphasizes on karma over monetary health. Uh, it revol uh, revolutionizes traditional pay-to-win models. 
So it's fostering a fair and inclusive uh, game environment. While you have the virtual land, just like in uh, my land, mm, I'm going to stop the video here. Uh, and I want to tell you that uh, virtual land ownership in AR world, in our world of game, is tied to karma scores. And yeah, it's incentivizing players and organizations for contributing positively to the society, not just the ecosystem itself, but off chain as well to the society. Uh, and that's, I think, it's a, it's a great measure of uh, awareness. And uh, our world of games serves as a collaborative platform for various communities and different types of players to learn or even plug in their solutions and initiatives. That's why I can say, I can tell you that white label solutions empower companies, governments, and charities to create customized learning experience, uh, experiences with this platform. Because um, strategies for nurturing decentralized learning communities with them include, yeah, like tokenization incentives, quest achievement based progress, and so on. Um, but let's see why their gamified experience is way more important than the pay to earn single feature. And you can educate your end users, your players, not to look for not just for a monetary system, um, liquid crypto or stake crypto or monetizing their experience in Web 2.0, let's say. Uh, because we're working together collectively for, for a higher purpose, all of, all of us. And I think our world, the game prioritizes uh, the real life, real world impact and collaboration over monetary gains. It's fostering a, a sense of educating end users into collective responsibility for this life, for their health, for this world, for this planet. So yeah, the, their integration with their sister um, platform called um, One World allows for cross-platform collaboration and shared achievements, promoting teamwork and community building. So you have a bridge there, you have a portal, how they call it. The focus on creating a better world through positive actions makes this platform, our world of game or AR world, um, more than just a pay to earn platform. It's a journey towards collective betterment. In conclusion, I think their gamified educational experience transcends traditional blockchain earning paradigms. Um, it's leveraging holochain technology and gamification to empower players to learn, grow, and make a positive impact on the world around them. And I think that's amazing, that's pure, that's genuine, that's even candid, but they're working a lot for that. And um, I'm happy to be part of this project as well. Um, Ah, tomorrow I'm having a meeting with them uh, again, and I would just uh, uh, notify that they have established a um, partnership with Barcelona or Madrid. Barcelona or Madrid. Can't remember quite well because I've been working a lot these days. Uh, anyway, they're going to move it in, uh, in their metaverse and they're going to start um, making projects together for a sustainable more sustainable, more healthy environment in that city that will apply online, on the blockchain and off-chain in real life. And I think, yeah, that's amazing. And talking about responsibility through gamification in the blockchain, I want us to have a final look on at the next platform. It's called GIFT and I want to talk about it not just because it's gamifying um, the compassionate future of the educational system to donation uh, and active sharing but also because it is supporting the regenerable finance uh, a few regenerable finance i'm saying a few but there are many <laughs> energy projects in the blockchain through gamification and adult education uh, modeling behaviors central to give it mission 
in, is the cultivating of a culture that celebrates and incentivizes giving. Through its decentralized approach, give it pioneers innovative solutions and governance models, fostering a spirit of altruism and collaboration among diverse global initiatives. So I want us to explore the give it gamified approach to regenerative finance education with REFI finance. I'm just going to ask the person that has its mic open to maybe close it because it's very loud for me here. Thank you. <clears throat> so regenerable finance spread headed uh, we're looking at the regenerable finance spread headed in uh, by Giveth, uh, which is fostering and harnessing blockchain technology to promote regenerative finance, focusing on climate change, mitigation, conservation, and biodiversity. And you could see here a few of their projects. If you go on Giveth page for the regenerable finance projects, you'll see many at different uh, donation levels. Some of them can have just $90, some of them have thousands of dollars. And some of them are very well known. I was amazed to see some great names there. And of course, they have refuge for different cities around the world. Uh, yeah, so they're promoting and they're focusing climate change, uh, mitigation, conservation, biodiversity, and not just that. Well, their initiative aims to educate users about the transformative potential of blockchain, if you look at their whole website, uh, in fostering sustainable financial practices. Well, gamification of refi concepts, true. Give it users engage in gamified learning experiences that explain complex uh, concepts such as climate change mitigation, sustainable investments, transparency in financial transactions, and so on. But the gamified elements are here are making learning about regenerative finance very accessible. And I think it's one of the few platforms that really focused on. Uh, is the first platform that rewards the users for uh, learning about regenerative finance through blockchain projects and through blockchain technologies is the first one but i think it's one of the few that really rewards users for engaging really engaging in this project um, and it doesn't matter what type of player or it is or their background they're just accepting everyone now the educational focus areas i want to look a bit into this stuff uh, that it's gamified on gif uh because gif educates uh, users on various aspects just like i told you mitigation conservation efforts uh, equity inclusion in financial systems and so on but it also employs gamification strategies to break down these topics into to chunk it down into digestible modules uh, and that this is enhancing users understanding and encouraging really encouraging active participation Mm, and talking about uh, community engagement, I think they're fostering a community engagement, uh, which is great by incentivizing collaboration itself and knowledge sharing about, um, among the users um, in regenerative finance, of course. And you can see elements, uh, gamified elements like uh, rewards, challenges as they promote participation and collective learning within the REFI community. Uh, some of these are even carried on their Discord server. And now we have tips on Discord everywhere where you can tip people in different tokens directly into their wallet. So if we look at the impact measurement, I think given it enables users, I'm not going to call them players and users, to track their contributions to regenerative projects transparently, which is amazing. You can track your pro progress, yeah? fostering accountability as well even is not if it's not the previous metaverse that was fostering uh, accountability and they're also um pushing it hard on this matter of trust within the community and trust it's a big thing right now in the digital area era of web 3.0 it's a, it's a very big thing uh, because usually we knew this kind of stuff as a progress bar 
but with the whole credit score system and everything that is designed around that right now, the progress bar sometimes in uh, blockchain platforms, front ends, decentralized applications, metaverses, it's called trust. So, yeah, times are shifting <laughs> very fast. Anyway, back to give it, I think uh this progress tracking and the achievement badges and the motivation that the users get extrinsically strive for greater impact and engagement again for a higher purpose for a higher mission of us collectively helping each other and i think let's have a look at the collaboration with refi partners and how that works with gamification and education because give it collaborates with various projects in the refi space and they're integrating with platforms like ethereum optimism and silo to facilitate donations and support the regenerative initiatives and that's amazing it's a lot of support right there and i think it's the first support like this one gamified for the first time in the web 3.0 uh environment mm, yeah uh well in summary give it refi initiatives leverages um gamification to educate users about sustainable initiatives but by gamifying complex topics and fostering collaboration they are empowering individuals to contribute to a more equitable sustainable and regenerative future so i invite you to have a look at it and see how you can contribute for a better world uh, and maybe even engage here or on any metaverse or blockchain platform or front end or decentralized app uh, but feel free to test these ones that i have shown you and to be part or of a of an engaging system of circular economy for higher mission and who knows maybe i'll meet you there now, to conclude this session on gamification and adult education found in the blockchain, let's think of the transformative potential we've explored today in this rush of mine. From decentralized education platforms to metaverses and regenerable finance, these initiatives are reshaping how adults engage with learning. Through gamification, they are all fostering curiosity, resilience, collaboration, and this is essential for navigating the new shift, the new paradigm of the technology that it's everywhere right now. Well, and if you want to find out more, I'm just going to invite you to a table or we can continue here. I don't know. But thank you very much for being with me today. Thank you very much for attending. Very enlightening. Let's see. Yeah, questions, comments. Well, these are some articles uh, that I par published lately on my LinkedIn and they're global. Everyone can read them. I just want to add that I think it's essential to notice that this project have a projects have a deeper meaning, a deeper purpose. And that one can be to empower lifelong learning, but also personal growth and community growth as people thrive in the new system. Um, generating not just circular economy but a better uh, life a more improved life life with the web 3.0 technology and that's excellent for creating knowledge yeah i, I just want to tell you that the guys from my land and the guys from our world the game were so excited when they found out about this conference mm. that and i sent them a list of questions that was very complex for this uh, conference on how what they're doing is really relating to educating the end user the player to mm -hmm. modeling behavior in their design not educating it uh, uh, directly through courses or something educating them through the their gamified design and they were very supportive and if anyone wants these interviews because they were meant for this conference i'm just uh, gonna send them just write to me on linkedin or whatever and i'm gonna send you these interviews that were 
designed to 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 reach you part of the information was given in in this session today but of course it's a lot that they have offered good and a lot of folks will be what the uh, people have registered for the conference will be uh, watching the replay just uh because of what you're at the time zone that you fall in so <laughs> the folks here in the u.s are uh Folks here in the U.S. are uh, just getting up, and then all the folks in Asia were going to bed. So a lot of them are going to rely on uh, this recording. And so, if you type in Alina's name, there's not. It's not like there's any competition for that her name on LinkedIn. So if you just just do a LinkedIn search, especially if you're connected to me, you can easily connect to her as well. Yeah, and if anybody wants to talk about uh, the blockchain projects, of course, I'm using my persona in the blockchain, like always, <laughs> since yeah. 2011, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I can always jump in a call with them or offer them some resources or whatever they need, uh, because this year I've just launched um, an ebook on social finance and how is it working on uh for cryptopreneurs companies startups or anybody a mother or a son you know how you can incentivize your uh, your presence how you can make your digital print your persona even your hybrid persona on the blockchain in social front ends and decentralized applications and i'm going to launch a udemy course i'm just waiting for its approval on the exact same thing the same thing uh these days i hope uh -huh. monday uh, that's yeah really <laughs> it's because it, it's given for the review and i'm i'm waiting for the approval nice good good 